Hi folks, this is Rose from In Rose's Garden and today we are going to work on a really cool chunky little bracelet using um, beads and a, the fo a focal that are, is one of the silver pieces from out of our Thunder Horse Descendant Inspiration Bundle Spiral Bubble Netting. I think this is going to be really pretty. I'm hoping that I got just enough beads. I might have too many, many and if so then we'll have to take something out. Hopefully I will. Anyway, so let's turn down and we'll get started on it. Okay, I just decided to use Fluorite Soft Flex because, well, it's getting low and it is a green and these are green and blue. Well, it's a sort of greeny blue color, so um, that's what we're going to use for stringing it. Then we have you know, the spacers and the, all these pieces here, the crimps, the lobster, the jump rings. Those are all from my stash. The rest of these, this is the focal we're going to use. It will sit right on your arm like so. I may bend it just a little bit more just to give it a little bit more of a bend to it so it fits around your wrist a little easier. And then these are the beads we're going to use. And I have decided as this, uh, this as the pattern with a spacer between each. And then this baby's gonna be in the front here, like so. I think that's gonna be a fun, chunky bracelet, don't you? So I'm gonna get my a bracelet bender out here and we're gonna see if we can't bend this just a little bit more. I don't want to bend it a lot. Let's see how it's not not too much more but it is a little bit more so we're gonna just leave it like that because I think it's good enough. So, if I could just bend it a little bit by hand if I wanted to. See, it's got a tiny bend in it. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, these are all for closing it up here, including one of the crimp tubes is over there, and that's fine because I need two of them in the, that's the back end. So then we need these two crimps to put on our wire. And I don't have a lot left. I doubt if I have enough to do anything more than this bracelet. So I'm just gonna take this off of the spool and just cut it in half. Like I say, it's it's more than it's gonna be more than I need, but it's actually this end is sticky, so I'm just gonna cut it off. And that'll take away part of it right there. And then we're gonna cut it in half because we only need half for each side. And we don't have to be exact because, let's face it, part of it's going to get cut off probably anyway. So we'll put this one a piece of, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to crimp on. And you can crimp anywhere because this isn't a specific a connector. It's a pretty piece, but I'm going to use it like a connector. And we're just going to crimp onto this bar relatively loosely so we can bend it, move around if we want. And we will crimp this one in place, make sure the cords aren't crossed there. Get our crimp right in the middle of our magical priors and squish. And then turn and squish again and keep going around in a circle until it looks like it's a little ball 
and it looks pretty sturdy. Now I could have made that a little looser yet, but I didn't, so it is what it is. I noticed that my crimpers, it, there we go, I think we got it back in place. It looked like they were it, the uh, cover was sliding off. And uh, since I've got both of these cut and we're right here, I'm just going to put the other one on while we're at it. So we'll just go through the other side. Get the crimp tube on. Tighten her up some. She's not quite as tight as the other side. There we go. That's about the same as the other side. Make sure our lines aren't crossed. And crimp this side. Okay, tug test and they both seem to be just fine. So now we'll string our beads on either side, just like we have in this pattern, and we'll see where we're at as far as length. So we'll just start on whichever side you want to. I'm not going to bother to cut my um, extra line because these beads are pretty good sized, and I know we won't have any problem with going through twice. A bracelet with big chunky beads like this, in my opinion, is always fun. I'm not going to put the crimp tube on yet. I'm going to put a bead stopper on and we'll go to the other side and do exactly the same. Put a bead stopper on this side and now I'm going to wrap it around my arm and see how it's doing. It says we could use more beads actually which surprises me because I thought I had was going to be too long. Well actually we may be just about perfect because once we get the lobster claw on and the uh, the um, cramps and such, it's going to be much, much bigger. In fact, let's, come here cramp. Now I'm going to do this uh, without the um, jumpering, which means it's going to have a little extra room, so I'll probably just leave that extra room when I pull it down. You can see I've got left a gap right there, so. And then we'll now I'm not gonna hook this up because in case I need do need more beads, I um want to be able to add them. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Pull this up like we would and then we're gonna hook it together now you got to remember this one would will have a little bit more space so if it's um, I think we're gonna be perfect so let's get this one side crimped which is finished and then we'll pull the lobster claw off and get its jump ring in the other side now, for those of you who are wondering why I insist upon using a um, jump ring with my with my bracelets and such uh, with the lobster claws, it's because a lobster claw is made with a spring in the inside of it. 
well, that spring can break. And if your spring breaks, you've, lost, you've just lost your bracelet. Because with it hooked straight in like that, you would have to entirely restring the bracelet in order to get it back to a wearable place. Whereas if it's with it on a jump ring, on a, I should say, yeah, a jump ring, then um, all you have to do is open your jump ring and change your Now we need to cut this excess wire off over here. So then if, like I was saying anyway, if you if you have it on a jump ring, all you have to do is change out your lobster claw. You can just remove the jump ring and take out your bead or take off your lobster claw and the, that's broken and just put a brand new one on. If, like I say, if it's hardwired in like that would have been, you can't do that. You have to restring the whole bracelet. So I always try and use a jump ring on the end of my bracelets. Oh, you're in the other bead. Okay, fine. That's where you want to be at. But no, that doesn't work. I need you. I have to pull you up. There we go. Now, you'll notice that a lot of times I hold on to my jump ring as I pull it down. Do you notice how that did that? It just pulled it straight down without giving me any flack about that, um, about any extra room or anything like that. So that is why I use the jump ring to pull it down with. Though it does tend to get in your way as you're trying to cramp, but Well, let's see, how are you? Well, you look like you're pretty good right there. You don't need to be any more pulled on. So, cut this extra side off. And now we just need to put our lobster claw on. So we'll get our pliers out. We'll open up this little jump ring. And actually, since it was about perfect without the little jump ring, it's probably going to be a little bit more than the seven now. But that's all right. I like to make sure I get my jump rings closed because sometimes they like to stay open just a little bit and that's sort of irritating. There we go. Now we'll hook the lobster claw up over here on this side. There we go. There's our bracelet. Let's check our sizing again. Well, the beads are sitting right over the seven, so that's perfect. Isn't that pretty? So, this is a really cool focal piece, and then we have the bead bracelet like that. So there we go. There's our pretty chunky bracelet. I call it chunky because it only takes, well, this fourth bead is small. Three big beads, as well as our closure here to put it together. Very simple, very quick, but oh so cute. Anyway, this has been Rose from In Rose's Garden and we made this beautiful bracelet 
using beads from the Inspiration Bundle Spiral um, Bubble Netting from Thunder Horse Distin. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I think it turned out just really cute, just the way I wanted it. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.